You are watching TFI. Greetings and salutations! Welcome to TFI, where I have a bit of a bonus video which applies to a lot of people, I suppose, not just Autodesk Inventor. It's a tip which will guide you towards something that might be applicable to whichever application you use. But this is it. So when you're in Windows Explorer and you right-click on literally anything, right, you get this right-click menu in Windows. This is called this is the Shell menu. And then in here, you've got a whole bunch of commands uh, like add to archive for WinRAR and the usual Windows copy paste, that kind of stuff. But you've also got this selection, this massive area here taken up by inventor commands, which you, you've probably looked at it a thousand times and never actually registered that it was even there. <laughs> and that's kind of where I was at. And I've, now that I've seen it, I'm like, what on earth gives them the right to take up that much space on my right-click menu when I'm literally just right-clicking on the root of my C drive? It even appears on mapped drives. What the hell do I want to run the inventor read-only mode for on my mapped drive or the design assistant? Come on, Autodesk, get a grip. Uh, it's fair enough when you're over in a, a genuine inventor data folder and you right-click on an assembly. Now you can access iProperties, for example, and look at uh, part numbers or whatever else. You know, that's fair enough, but not on a goddamn C drive. So how do you get rid of this? Right, what you do is you go into Start and then type in Reg Edit. Usual disclaimers apply. I mean, I don't have to do this. I'm not a I'm not a corporation, but edit the registry at your own risk, blah, 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 yakety schmackety. Uh, if you're working in a business, consult your IT, yada, yada, yada. So go into Registry Editor, and then what you want to do is go right up to the, the top of your Registry Editor as my mouse begins to fail. That's always good to know when you're in the middle of a video. Expand H key classes root, right? And you want to go down to the folder called folder. So click in there and then press F on the keyboard. I'll take you straight down to the Fs. Scroll down to folder. There it is. Expand folder. Expand shell X. Expand context menu handlers. And then you've got this one here called inventor menu. What you want to do is delete that. You can export it if you want to make a backup of it, just in case you're like, well, okay, well, I, I, don't, I, you know, I don't like committing to this sort of thing. I'd like to know if I can undo it. You can't undo it, but you can back it up. Uh, so you can put, you know, just give it that, that, that daft inventor menu, or something like that. Save it out your desktop, hit save, and then that'll save the registry key in case you want to bring it back. Right click on it and then delete. Uh, do you want to permanently delete this? Yes, in a goddamn hurry. Minimize or shut down your registry editor. Now when you right click on any folder that's got nothing to do with Inventor, that has gone. Halla bloody -lou but the good thing is if you only delete that, whenever you right click on an Inventor part or an assembly or a drawn or whatever else, you've still got the Inventor commands uh, up here on the right click menu for whatever reason. If you want to look at inventor stuff whilst you're not having an inventor open, there you go, mate. There you go. This is just... I'm not going to get into it. There might be somebody out there who actually uses these outside of inventor. In my opinion... Right, let's... Okay, so there you go. That's how you fix it. <laughs> I'm going to now commence with the rant. Right? In my opinion, there is probably hardly anyone who uses this set of menu commands here. Take some kind of survey of the people watching this or the, just the general user base. I would suspect a minute fraction of people use this. So what on what, what goddamn planet does it make sense to just whack all of this stuff in your general Windows right-click menu? How egotistical and narcissistic is it from Autodesk to be like, oh no, we're important enough. No, 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 no. We're important enough to have our application, six goddamn application commands on your right-click menu. We're important enough. Of course we are. No, you're not. You're not. You, you don't even get asked about this stuff. It just goes straight in there. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if every application you installed on your PC, who, by the way, they all think they're more important than each other. Can you imagine if they all just whacked in a bunch of right-click menus into this menu? It would be ridiculous. But they don't because most of them know that oh, we're just we're just an application, we're just one of many. You know, you, you buy us, you you, you want to use us you, to get a job done. We're not, we don't want to consume your life. We don't want to be in your face. You know what I mean? We just want to be present when you need to use our application. But no, these lot, they're just like, no, we'll we'll, we'll just we'll no, we're just going to impose ourselves on your entire Windows XP. Come, all right, I'm I'm exaggerating, of course I am. But can we just Autodesk? I know you're watching. Just get rid of this or put it. You can't put a ticky box in the installation because it's all corporate driven now, isn't it? Your installation. You know, just do something about this. Just not do it. And then 
in the application option in, in Inventor have a tick box for like integrate with Windows Shell or something like that. Just get rid of this, man. It's not needed, especially not when you're on a bloody map drive or your root your C drive. Come on. Anyway, right. Uh, yeah, uh, that'll do. <laughs> that's, that's the rant over. Uh, hugs and kisses to Autodesk as always. And uh, yeah, that, that's how you get rid of that right click menu. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the tip, do press the like button and all that kind of stuff. Have a good Christmas, given the time of the year that it is now. If it's after Christmas and you're watching this, uh, I hope you did have a good Christmas. And I'll uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next... By the way, if you're not subscribed, most people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. I do a lot of stuff like this, mate. You should check out the back catalog and get subscribed for the rest of the stuff that's to come. So yeah, do that. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! Doodle.